Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Docker on Apple Silicon or the M1 MacBooks. Alright, so I basically did a Google of Docker M1 and it takes you to the takes you to this link basically and looks like there's a general release already uh, which is great it means it's not like a uh, release candidate anymore it means that you know enough developers have tested it where docker feels comfortable releasing it as a general release so that looks good so let's take some time and download uh, the docker.dmg file okay once the docker file has been downloaded we're going to open it and yeah, some of this, depending on what laptop you have, it's going to take some time. So I'm going to speed up this part. All right, now I'm going to drag Docker into the applications file. This should be pretty standard if you're used to um, OS X. And yeah. Let's give this some time. I'm also going to speed it up. So it's faster for you all. Okay, so let's open Docker now. All right, so it looks like it's finished verifying and it's gonna ask me to enable some permissions. I'm gonna be like, okay, I trust this developer. And yeah, let's give it some time for it to load. All right, there you go. Needs privilege access. Okay, I'm gonna click OK, enter my password, and there we go. So if you look at the top right, it should say Docker Desktop is starting. And yeah, let's give it some time to set it up to set up by its own on its own. Okay. All right, looks like Docker desktop is started. So let's do Docker. Let's see if we can run that command within the um, uh, terminal now. Oh, it looks like it's a new interface now. So um, let's cancel that. Let's skip the tutorial or yeah, let's skip the tutorial. Um, yeah, and let's try to run this command and get started. So I'm just gonna copy that there. What this does is it spins up a container. It pulls down whatever's at docker slash getting started and that's usually um, a docker image um, so yeah i haven't installed it yet so i'm pulling it from the internet and yeah it looks like downloads complete image is downloaded and now if i do something like um, localhost port 80 uh, that's actually running that's actually hitting what's in my container right now. So looks like it's working. And yeah, if I go back to, let's just see if some normal commands work. So Docker PS, Docker help, uh, that's cool. Now well, let's also, let's just stop this container. So I copy the container ID and I'm gonna stop it. Okay, cool, return the ID if I do Docker PS. Okay, cool, so I'm able to spin up a container and I'm able to stop the container, so. There we go. This is going to be a short tutorial today. All right, I hope that was useful for you all. Uh, please leave a comment below if you if there's certain content that you want me to make. And again, to support my channel, um, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.